But Piers Morgan, and I think this is about his intelligence, said something different. And he, he said, and I'll, I'll quote, what about the nation's service to our 18 year olds? What they've been through? A generation that lost the best years of their lives. They can't afford to rent, can't afford food, punitive tuition fees, and they probably won't earn more than their parents in their lifetime. And it was, uh, it was really, and it, of course it got a, a round of mm. applause. But I think a really, this is something you and I have talked about before. The youth of today, I think, is treat, has had a horrific time, is treated horrifically, and have so few less opportunities than previous generations, in my, in my opinion. It's the first time I've seen somebody actually mm. try and stand up for mm. them ever on mainstream television. I disagree. I've, so, I've every, written down here, Nick will disagree. Yeah. <laughs> um, every generation has new problems and new benefits and our generations now have new problems and new benefits so first of all for Piers Morgan to talk about losing the best years of their life due to lockdown that he supported he supported it yeah is well Piers it was down to you mate because mm -hmm. lots of people were trying to avoid this lockdown and say we don't need it but you on with your big platform were telling everybody we'd all die without it so you're part of the problem here Piers but again, Walt Pierce likes to push under someone else's shoulders because mm. he's just lovely. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so yeah. that's part one. It's the government's fault, not his. Yeah. Exactly. But you're right, he was part of the problem, definitely. He was. Yeah. He probably also supports mass immigration, um, which is why young people can't buy houses. Mm. Um, that's all related to that. But every generation has new problems. Um, things are different now for the young generations coming up. Social media means... The mistakes me and you made at 16, 17, 18 by being boisterous or being idiots or getting drunk today are now online and your future employees can see that. You can be castigated for something you said in a pub now mm. where everything I said in a pub that was offensive, no one ever recorded. So that's got harder for young people. But opportunities, there's more opportunities now than ever before. But we're not filling those opportunities because young people don't have the self-confidence, the self-respect, the drive, the ambition, because we've modicoddled them far too much and far too long. People like peers, again, woke culture has killed their belief in themselves. Um, but national service in itself, what a stupid idea. So national service is Sunak trying anything now to get all the Tory voters to vote for him. So they're the only ones who've got any fun members of National Service. They're the only ones who are thinking, oh, young people of today, I've got no respect. Every generation thinks young people have got no respect. We've got letters from, from Rome 2,000 years ago saying exactly the same thing about their young people. Um, so none of this ever changes. But National Service in itself... And you say, well, why do you want national service? Well, it'll give them an education. Why don't you just fix our education system then? Or it'll give them some aspirations to help them get a job. Fix our education system. Mm, yeah. And everything we're saying is to fix a problem that nobody wants to fix. Mm. So now we're going to create a new project that we're going to run extremely poorly <laughs> that will achieve nothing that we're spending more money on. Um, it's, it's pie in the sky. And I'll tell you now, most young people won't attend. Yeah. And there's nothing you can do about it. We can't get young people to wave the Union Jack flag. And we think they're going to do national service. Half the young people in our country hate the country mm. and want it to fall to Russia and be communist or to be Islamist or to be a woke utopia. It, we need to fix our education. We need to fix our parenting. We need to fix society. This is just a stupid idea by a dying Prime Minister trying to grasp a couple of mm. old people's votes. Yeah, I, and I agree with that. I, I was more interested in, in Piers' sentiment, which I think was, was <clears throat> well-placed. And I think I would be attracted to vote for somebody who would try <clears throat> to deal with the issues that the young people of today are facing. See, Piers Morgan's little diatribe there is victim culture. He's saying to young people... Look how bad you've got it. We need to help you. No, 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 no. What we should be saying to young people is, 
you still live the best time in the history of the world to be a young person. No, no they, they definitely do. But I think it's also true that they are not going to have as good a life as their parents. I don't think that's true at all. I, I, I think that's yet that's to be seen. Well, we're but already seeing it because less young people are driving, less young people have houses, own houses, the, more the, the young certain, people are in rented accommodation. There are certain metrics that young people will do worse than their parents. But happiness and doing well in life is a multifaceted judgment. Mm. But I, I can guarantee those young people will have a better life than their parents. They may, they may never own a house unless we sort that mass immigration. But everything else, lots of other things will be better and they'll have a better life. Because that's been the history of mankind for the last, what, 250 years? Yes. Well, I'm saying I think it's kind of stalling at the moment. And every generation says that. And it never happens. Maybe. Maybe. I, I just remember back in the 80s and 90s, life seemed mm. quite easy to me. That was you in a different age. The young people now, if you took them back to your age now in the 80s, they wouldn't know what to do because it'd be alien to them. Love it. But, but young people in the age they've got now that they're being raised to live in, many will be successful. Maybe not in the ways you've been successful, but they may be successful in other ways. They will still judge their lives as being successful uh, because the history of the last 100 years shows us this. There may come a time where it doesn't, and today may be that time, but all I can judge it on at the moment is past experiences for 250 years. And all the evidence at the moment shows us they will have better lives than we have now. Eventually, they won't. It may cut off. But we won't know that till it happens. Did you like that video? I think you did. Hit the bell. Give it a big thumbs up. Comment. And don't forget, I'm standing for election in Old Meese and Saddleworth. So please share this video, speak to your family and friends if you live in Greater Manchester and if you live in Alderman and Saddleworth, make sure you vote for me. Catch you soon.